Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you Maria with Y from Oman Luxury. This is a unisex perfume and it has uh, been released in 2020. I found out about this uh, nice release uh, a while ago, but because they are not distributed uh, everywhere, it was difficult to find a sample to try this one. And this one comes in a black, beautiful bottle. It's kind of like the higher premium line if i can uh, call it this way there is this one and another one called kanjar and this one uh, got my attention because it has very nice notes including coffee which i like coffee and perfumes and i said uh, that i gonna i'm gonna get a sample and uh, i am very excited to tell you more about it because as you can see i did used a bit and now i'm gonna spray again and go through the notes uh, with you Jesus, this is so nice. Wow. The first blast I'm getting is rose. Juicy, beautiful rose. So this is rose gourmand spicy smell. The perfumer uh, behind it is Hamid Merati Kashani. This, uh, this master perfumer has created Leighton from Parfums de Marly. So one of the somehow popular perfumes on the market. And he also created other uh, scents like Altair from Parfums de Marly, King Blue from Amouage and many more. So he is quite a busy, productive perfumer as of now. This was uh, released in 2020. In top notes, you'll have coriander, bergamot, mandarin orange and orange blossom. So quite flowery, quite pleasant top note to catch your attention. I feel a ton of rose when I smell it when I uh, spray it. In middle notes you'll have Bulgarian rose, bourbon geranium and taif rose. And in base notes, caramel, coffee, patchouli and vanilla. This perfume here, this Maria, will be one of my next bottles in the collection. And uh, let me explain to you why. If you like Noir de Noir from uh, Tom Ford, if you like uh, Boadicea de Victorious Ardent, or if you like Onyx from Aaron Terings Hughes, then you know how Maria smells. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so, 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 so good. Like this is one of those scents which when I sprayed it originally on my hand, I could not stop smelling my wrist. Even if in the past I had Onyx from Aaron Terings Huge, you can see the unboxing here. Recently I posted a review for Ardent and uh, this scent DNA for me is absolutely stunning and addictive. This is a floral powdery perfume, which was, like I said, an instant love for me. It is sweet, flowery, and with a wonderful coffee note inside. The perfumer also created Leighton, which is also like an addictive, beautiful vanilla with apple, uh, which is uh, catching your attention and uh, keeps it there. The older batches of Leighton, of course, were much better with the older concentration. But this is the first batch. I don't think we have problems from Oman Luxury regarding the concentration. Uh, that's why I said uh, bottle will follow because I think it's the best option if you like this scent DNA. You get 100 milliliter bottle, it will last forever. So the longevity and the projection on this scent are out of this world. It doesn't slow down, not even after eight hours. So it's a thick, complex perfume, which will stay with you the whole day. So if you like complex, long lasting perfumes, then this is a perfume that it might be good for you. If you like uh, airy, closer to your skin, a bit more uh, romantic scents, then maybe uh, Boadicea is a good option or if you find a good offer a little bottle of Noir de Noir from Tom Ford. This is a beautiful sweet vanilla scent with coffee with rose which will fill a room so when you get in the room it will be filled with your uh, beautiful scent. This will be a discussion starter anywhere so I don't think uh, if you spray this scent and you go in a place uh, there will be someone who will not notice your notice your smell if you're also well dressed and that's something that i like very much about this scent that it is unisex 100 percent so i see it good for ladies i see it good for men it doesn't lean neither uh, in in one direction or the other and it just works guys it's 
I don't know, like, what is it in this composition? It just gives me an instant good mood. I, I would say that it has hedion, but I didn't see in the description that it has hedion, which is a well-known ingredient to give you instant good mood. But Maria, muy bueno, very well, very well. The sillage is as much as such a thick, lovely scent can project. So this could be a Serge Lutens, if you ask me. It's very syrupy, very thick scent. It will stay with you for a very long time. Uh, as versatility, you can use this scent all the time, everywhere, all the time. I don't see it uh, at all like a scent which can be worn only in colder times or warmer times. I could say that if it's extremely warm outside, so if you're in a heated day, maybe Miami, maybe somewhere in the equatorial line or maybe like in Milan in the summer when it's uh, 35 degrees outside. I'm not sure Maria is a scent that you would like to have on your skin. You would like to have like some nice Neroli citrus airy perfume. It's most, mostly an eau de cologne to refresh you, not to choke you. So maybe the warm in the warmer days you can find an alternative. Will shine in the cold, like I said, and dressed up. It would be a pity to consume and to, to waste such a nice smell dressed uh, sporty and not well. Maybe not with a tie like me right now. How do you like my tie? Uh, I yeah. don't wear usually ties, but I like this red one and I said I'm gonna use it for the videos. As a score, I will give it a 9 out of 10. If you love gourmandi, vanilla, beautiful, rose scents, this is for you. The one point I take from it is because it's not original. Obviously, it has been inspired from Noir de Noir or from uh, Onyx from uh, Arantering Sioux. Please let me know what do you think about Maria from Oman Luxury, which are taking over because they come with uh, new and new perfumes. And I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Stay healthy. Bye.